being that I'm a cheap ass or cheap F U C K, um, kind of. I'm gonna try to warranty that. Apex tool makes Lufkin now and it broke they say their lifetime, I don't know. I tried to do a smaller one, a six inch one. No, a six footer that was like a one inch kind of ruler and uh they said no we don't make it anymore. They still make this one. God damn the they gotta collect all these freaking boxes and they blame it's on my shit. It isn't my stuff. But no, it's all my mess though. It's not my mess. I didn't make it. I cleaned up my mess six months ago. Um, what was I gonna say? Well, yeah, I had this door open before, putting away stuff. Because it's just, just never gonna be put away. So, I'm tired of tripping over stuff. So, I did a quick, uh, ten, five minute run around here. Before it gets too hot, every evening you have a little bit of break because it's just so hot during the day. But you can do a little bit without sweating for five minutes. If you do ten minutes, you're gonna start sweating. Um, but you get like howdy doody people. When I got the door open, it's like I'm here to entertain them, and it's just not the case. Sure, I guess I'm not the most friendly person or whatever, but but still, man, I'm like lifting saws and shit and moving stuff, and they want to like stop and chat. I don't know. They wander around here like, Ugh, look at that. What? Well, what is that? What? Well, what's in this box? What? What's that? Oh, what's this? Oh, you have that? I don't have one of them. Oh, why do you have your hood open for? Do you have car trouble? You, why are you checking the air in your tire? Is your tire flat? Man, you got people like that, man. You just, what the hell? I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go check this horn. Continuation of our video. That was a high one. That was off the pickup. This is the one that was flooded. Hear it a little bit. Yeah, freaking howdy duty people, man. Or stop and chat. That's what I call them. Stop and chat. They do it in the car. They do it when they're walking. They just can't do a continuous motion without stopping and getting distracted by something. I, I guess those people are possibly good for like a, a company who's selling a product. They're good for like consumerism because they will get distracted and they'll probably stop, chat, and then take out their wallet or purse or whatever they are. Um, and start buying stuff. So I guess it's good for them. Why isn't this lead going? I gotta make better little short jumper leads on my project. Get alligator clips about yay size. And uh, be pretty good. See this one? I got testing the other one. You see the resistance going up? Shit. Shit. It's not consistent. So higher resistance. It's going down the tubes. So, yeah. Might work though, I don't know. We'll test it. Maybe get a little bit of life out of it. It's going up now. I'll have to figure out how. I don't know. I really probably should just take apart that busted one. Just cut it. I'm curious what's inside one of these things. I'm thinking it's just something that vibrates and it makes the noise. I don't know, I guess it's probably the same way like an electric doorbell works in your house. It's probably the same kind of system. I'm curious about it without typing into Google. Because that's the world today, right? People have a question. They don't want to figure it out from themselves. They want to be like stop and chat people and just bug people. And like at, rely on other people to answer it for them instead of doing their own scientific work. And coming up with their own conclusions. That's what we're losing, I think, with the whole... Uh, thing, whole growth, whatever, of the internet and everything being instant. So that's that. Stop and chat. This place sucks. We want to get the hell out of here. I should go start a freaking GoFundMe something like my friend Peter or something. He wants to escape his thing. I can go maybe afford a freaking tow truck or you know, like buy a house or something and just get the hell out of here. I'll pay back people later or something, seriously, if I'm successful. And the horn honking at people. So, that's that. Um, yeah. Stop and freaking chat. What do you think about it? I think it sucks. Leave me alone. Don't be bugging people. That's one thing about me. I don't bug people. I really don't. Just leave me alone. The only time I I offer assistance is possibly like when I was at the junkyard two months ago and the guy had to go hot rod truck. I was kind of like telling him because he was having problems of what it was. I was like, no, nah, man, you got to do that. got to do this. No, nah, man. 
you'll be fine. And a lot of people, you know, I say shit like that to a lot of people. Some people don't take my advice. Other people do take my advice. You know, I don't care what they do with it. But it's funny when they do <laughs> they do, do what I tell them. And they're like, man, that worked out good. And I told you so. I'm not a dumbass. Some people think I might be, but... So that's that. That's what we did. Oh, yeah, we didn't show this with our horn obsession. These are like aftermarket brackets and shit. I rigged this all up when I was like 14, 15. These are like Indian horns. Because they're factory ones, they rusted out. But that was the original um, hole that keeps the um, horn from twisting. But I put like a ground underneath here. Then I put one of these stupid washers, which it's, it's all wrong, but it works the way I wired it up. And I just cut one wire and added the uh, extension on it. I really want to use the factory brackets and just either epoxy them or even like maybe you can spot weld it without screwing up the horn. I'm not sure. Just a zip, zip, zip. A really, real quick, quick, hot uh, weld in like three places, like the factory one was. And then you could put the factory brackets on and it won't look like shit like this does. Not that anyone's looking at it, but I think it looks crappy. So I could do the same with pickup because it's the same way. But that's that. You see resistance still going up. And the uh, stopping chat's over. I'm talking about the stopping the chat people still. I don't know. This got to bug you, man. Why do people got to be like that? It's like everything. Like I say, people only really talk to you. I got a puke on there. They only really talk to you when they want something. That's it. It's a messed up world. Not getting any better. Yeah, that was oil eaters, I think. I sprayed on that because when the compressor was flinging, it put so much AC oil on the um, hood liner that when you turn the car on, it smelled like hot AC oil. And it's like a nasty smell. It almost smells like coolant. It's, I actually think the peg oil does have a little bit of like glycol in it or something. It might. And yeah, it smells like coolant. And then your vents right over there. So when you turn the AC on, it smells. No, it doesn't. Done. So I was trying to uh, get one of these horns apart. I'm picking at it with a pry bar. And it said, what about caveman method? Caveman method. You know? Ugh, ugh, me caveman. It's working. Suburban with the flows. Alright, I know why it doesn't work. Even after doing the caveman method. Which we'll revisit. In case we didn't get it before. It doesn't work because there's a date on it. It says 3, 35, and 17. The 35th of March already passed, right? You know it. That's so, so why it doesn't work anymore. Damn. Well, 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 I got on a park. Not what I inspected. What we, got? we got this piece over here. It's not quite on the diaphragm. I don't know. Then you got this piece over here. Where the hell does the sound go? This is vibrate? Maybe this hits this disc over here and makes a sound? I don't know. I'll never know now. All this work for nothing. <laughs>